Hey guys, Rock and Roll we're back with some more Battle for Middle Earth, and this time we're going to be going with the Blue Wizard mod. So I downloaded this the other day. Uh, it seems to have an effect on the campaign, which is my main thing for mods. I want them to change the campaign in some way. Also adds elves as a faction in the game and a bunch of heroes. So this is going to be fun. We're going to go through the good campaign first, and we're going to put it on the hardest difficulty because I like to uh, I like to torture myself. We won't be doing any special challenges this time on this one. I have done some very difficult challenges across various different mods. I would recommend going out and going and checking out my Elven Alliance um, playthrough, where I basically restrict it with no elite units and only two powers, I think, two or three of the uh, powers. So it was very hard and very fun. Anyway, let's get to. To the generic ending, that, or beginning, that we all love. Narrated by Sir Ian McAllen, of course. I'm just hoping that um, the resolution looks okay. Uh, I have to do some editing, I think, in, uh, in post, just to see uh, if I can make it look a little nicer. But uh, I'm curious to look around the map and just see if there's any extra things been added anywhere. Because obviously this is the Fellowship here. So you've got your, the nine walkers to match the nine riders. Um, they're the same at the minute. Aemir and Tenra Hiram. Loads of Orcs and Trolls, Trebuchets. Just Faramir there. Okay, it's just interesting to see, because some of the mods add extra characters in the campaign as well. I can't remember which mod it was, but um, they gave you... Um, I think you got Damrod? I think you got Damrod. You got Gambling. You got Hammer. I think you got Berrigond as well. Don't quote me on Berrigond. I'm not sure on Berrigond. You should do. Baragon was such a crucial character, really, in the books. Kind of sad that he got um, axed from the movies. Like, of all the characters that got axed, I feel sorry the most for uh, Baragond. Like, Glorfindel, yeah, but it was sort of a minor thing. Same with Tom Bombadil. I don't really mind too much, but Baragon, I really do feel sorry for him. It'll be nice to actually play this without speedrunning it as well. I've been trying to speedrun it a bit recently, and I'm going on medium difficulty because I can't beat the uh, difficulty, the easy difficulty one. And I definitely need to change the screen resolution because the heroes look dodgy as hell in this. In their position, why is the rocks different? Oh, they have different abilities. Cool. Bonds of friendship. Rank A. You never get to rank A. Mithril armor. That's nice. That should really be. A base ability, I would have thought. Bonds of Friendship. Gets the dagger. For Mr. Frodo. Dagger as well. Boromir. Gets his horn. Gets Last Stand. That's a good ability. Some people add it in various mods, so I like that. Uh, leadership bonus. Captain. Oh, summons soldiers from Osgiliath. That's nice. Gimli has his standard... Axe throw, which he nev I never used. Leap attack. Dwarven grudge. 500 health and knockback resistance. Leadership bonus and fear in vulnerability to nearby dwarves. There's other dwarves in this? I'm interested now if that's the case. 50% uh, damage in armor. Slayer, obviously, which is just ridiculously good. Legglass, hawk strike, knife fighter. Can you change that permanently? Doesn't say or not. I wish it did. I wish there was an option for that. I know he's the best archer in the game, but... Uh... So he has the same ability as Gimli, but for elves. Arrow wind, because that's awesome. Monster slayer. That'll be good for taking down Mummox. Um, Aragorn's abilities are the same, apart from this. Nearby troops regenerate when out of combat. That's really powerful. And Gandalf, of course. They all seem to have a leadership bonus at this point. Uh, he's on mounted. It's Tari Light. Word of power. Cool. Uh, any new powers? In, they've got new uh, new appearances. That's nice. Elven Gifts, Heal, Woods. They look the same. Draft, Rohirrim, Elves. Yeah, everything looks the uh, looks the same in here. But nice new images. I like them. Um, we're going to go with Heal. Just because uh, I'm wary 
because this is a mod and it affects the campaign so that always makes me a bit wary of uh, taking too many chances so this will just be the tester um, video for it if anything just to uh, one test how it runs and if you guys are interested in seeing more uh, because I do want to make this more strategy orientated, says the person who's literally just been putting stuff like Resident Why? Evil up recently. So Although you could argue that Resistance is a strategy game. Especially if you're playing the Mastermind. That game's a lot of fun. If, you get, if you're get, if you not sure with, whether to get Resident Evil or not, then until the new one. Definitely get it for Resistance, if nothing else. Right, you move down to there. Like I say, it's nice to not be speedrunning it for once, because right now I would basically be nearly in Balin's Tomb. Because the way you play it, you only actually collect three of the treasures in this, you don't collect two of them. And you collect that one, run everybody through, collect that second one with, I think Gandalf as well. Uh, do Balin's Tomb, then you run through and get, I think Legolas is the one you give the uh, next treasure to, because he's, he's just your best damage dealer. That's... Uh, that's all it is, really. And then you throw everybody forward in the fight. Nice to see that um, Frodo, for some reason, has a new image, although he is in the elves' faction in this, which I do find interesting. A reward. I'm curious why they made that decision, in all honesty, but I'm not going to argue. It's nice to have another faction in the game. Die. Right, so far, so good. Nothing's really changed. Um, we'll have to wait and see. The troll looks bigger as well. Some mods do that as well. Okay, Legolas, what are you doing? Why do you have to run? Uh, let's see if we can get Baromir into there. To uh, get that treasure. Right, double strike. Or arrows. What, uh, what the hell is that ability called? Hawk strike, yeah, that's it. Okay, Aragorn has taken a bit too much damage there for my liking. Alright, and there's the troll dead. Legolas get the kill? Yes, okay, that's nice. That's what we needed. And we shoot both of them. They go to there. Gandalf move up to here. I'm presuming the hobbits are coming as well. Gandalf will get the treasure in there, and the last treasure will probably go to Gre Gandalf as well. Get Baromir down here. I do like these new icons. I do like them. So, I will... I'll mess around with the resolution, so that looks a bit nicer for the next uh, video. Because it's really weird. I mean, it only actually looks good if you've got all the heroes, because it goes to there then. Uh, Gimli, time to you to jump on these people. Alright, these need to go to there. Legolas, you go up to there. I know Haldir's in this mod, so maybe we'll get Haldir at Helm's Deep. That'd be nice. But shout out to the Blue Wizard mod. Uh, definitely go check it out if you haven't played it yet. You know this. Uh, I did play a quick skirmish just to see uh, what was in the Elven list, and it was pretty fun. Alright, Legolas, just shoot them archers. I say it's just nice taking it nice and casually through. After um, so many shots at easy and then uh, having a crack at medium as well on speedrunning, this is nice. I might do a. Um, I don't know whether I'd stream it or whether I'd just um, record it and upload it, but I do want to do a medium run and actually submit it because there's not actually at the minute any medium runs of the campaign speedrun, so. Uh, I might throw that out there, just to change it, because everybody does easy to maximise that. It's funny how far it's come, like, over the years. Originally, the speedrun record was... It was something like four and a half hours, maybe more than that. And it's all the way down to just under... An hour and fifty minutes, I think. Which is just insane, but like I say, that's on easy. Medium changes things a little bit, because it is a bit... Obviously, everything hits a bit harder and such. And I don't even want to think about what doing this on hard would be like. That would be a hell of a lot uh, more difficult because you have to just use completely different strategies, I think, in general. And no. 
use your lightning sword. Gimli automatically jumps on them as well, which is pretty cool. I spent so long um, not using the hobbits that it still seems quite weird to watch them just going at it like this, sort of in the thick of the combat. Uh, Gandalf kill them, Aragorn stop dying. Um, Gandalf use Thunderbolt, Legolas shoot him. Kill him while he's down. There we go. Nice. That was good. We did well there. I wonder how long on easy difficulty a 100% run of this would be. A 100% run of this would be, in my opinion, doing every mission. Um, I'm not sure about doing the bonus objectives because some of them are a bit janky. Sometimes they don't activate even if you've done them. And sometimes they're just plain impossible. Holy shit. Whew. It's a good thing I was paying attention then. Gandalf nearly died. That would not have been very... Uh, that would not have been good. Alright, we'll we'll uh, we'll leave the hobbits in here because we don't need to level them up anymore. Leveling up was just for the, um, the bonus. I don't really need to level up Gandalf either, but I don't want to take any chances. I love that Legolas is literally shooting through the wall, because there was a look, there's a wall there. Legolas is such a good archer, he can shoot through a wall. Aragorn, why are you such a pussy? God, you're a liability. Hobbit says stay back there. Gandalf, go get the treasure. And then Thunderbolt. Can we stop getting slapped here? Oh God, now I've got to... I want to get Mary to level 2 as well, just for the objective more than anything else. doesn't really change anything. It's just nice to get it. But like I say, I really do want to, to do a medium speed run. 100% would just be ridiculous, because there's a lot of missions in this. And if you even if you only say they take 20... Sort of, on average... Let's say 10 minutes... To be sort of generous, we'll say ten minutes. Probably five, closer to five would be the actuality, but we're going to say ten just to uh, add a bit more time for us to work with. You need to stay next to Legolas while he's shooting stuff so you can get some of the XP. It's not going to be enough, is it? can't believe it. I've never struggled so hard to get one of the hobbits. I mean, he was in the thick of the fight as well. That's disappointing. Also, something I love, Gandalf here has now got the Gandalf the White image. And I'm not sure why. <laughs> He's not Gandalf the White yet. I swear if he pops up as Gandalf the White, that's going to be hilarious. No, he's still Gandalf the Grey. That's weird. But you know what? I did it. Let's, uh... Bloody hell, Balrog, calm down. Right. Lightning Sword. I like how they gave it such a creative name. They just didn't even think, did they? It was just like, yeah, it's like, it's... It, he shoots lightning, he's using his sword. We'll call it the Lightning Sword. Like, that was literally... Somebody said that in 30 seconds. <laughs> Who we were just talking about in the meeting. Just we need to name the move. What are we going to call it? Well, he uses his sword and he shoots lightning. So let's call it the lightning sword. And everyone just nodded their head and just like, yeah, 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 like that. Uh, we'll go with that. You know, you got word of power there where they probably put some thought and and light. It's Tari light, the <laughs> lightning sword now. <laughs> You know, there is a way. I've seen it. I don't know whether it's just in the base game or not, and whether it was patched out, but you could bow, You could do the Balrog in two hits. So, and that's actually... You could do it in three. I'm not sure if you could do it in two. You might have been able to. It all depended... 
it was very dependent on hitting him at the right angle. He had to swing and basically be in a very certain position. It was pretty much frame perfect, I think. Which, when you look at how the abilities are actually fired in this, is pretty hard to actually replicate, so... Frame perfect stuff in this game just isn't viable. We only got victory because Bloody Mary didn't level up. Boromir putting in a fantastic performance as always. Boromir is possibly the most disappointing hero in the game because he never gets killed and my neighbor's grinding something out there. Wonderful timing. Thank you for that. I don't know if you can hear it or not. If you can, I apologize. The video is about to end, so uh, <laughs> if you can hear the grinding, I do apologize. It will be uh, sorted soon. But anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe for more of my uh, my videos. I would like to keep playing this because I do like Battle for Middle Earth, but it all comes down to you guys. If you enjoy watching it, then, uh, then I definitely will play more. But once again, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.